Many of you are probably familiar with our VOD series, Problems Higher Up. But what many of you probably don't know is that that version that you saw wasn't our first attempt at bringing this show to life. The version of Problems Higher Up that you saw released to Amazon Prime in January was filmed in the summer of 2020. But that was our second attempt at actually creating the show. So in the summer of 2019, we filmed a version of the show. It was vastly different than the version that you saw, and even though it contained a few familiar faces. Good morning, church! How's everybody doing? In the summer of 2019, we began filming the original vision for the show, which was a lot different from what it would become in the year to follow. Yeah, but uh, right now, we'd like to just look over some of those old scenes with you. Uh, we'll see basically what we did wrong, how it compares to the versions that we have nowadays, which are released and out there online now, and basically see why it failed and how you can save yourself uh, from making the same mistakes. Let's take a look. It's just on the nursing home. You should do fine. Do you want me to mention any specifics? What do you mean by specifics? Let me put it this way. Would you like me to talk to anyone specifically? What are you trying to say? Stan. Stan? Yeah. Are you implying that Stan's old? Well, I mean... He's kind of old. Not that much older than me. What are you saying? Alright, fine. I'll do your ministry moment, but I want you to know, I really, really don't want to. I owe you one. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yep, fine. You know... And I'll be honest with you, it will be good for our congregation to see the youth looking out for the elderly. Look at it like that. Well, I, I don't actually have to go help with the nursing home. Oh, no, I? no, of course not. Okay, good. I just don't want to waste my time. Right. You know, good. Yeah, and they wouldn't want you there anyway. What's that? Ooh, yeah, that's a cigar that I found in the sanctuary. In the church? Yes, that's where our sanctuary is located. I know that, but like, did you yell at Zach? Why would I yell at Zach? How do I even know it's his? Come on, how many other people do you know in the church who smoke cigars? You know, I don't know, because it's not a common question I ask the first time visitors. Fair enough. Hey guys, what's going on? What are you talking about? Oh, well, you see... Alex found a cigar in the sanctuary. Huh. Really? Is it yours? No, of course not. Are you sure? Well, Nick, uh, yeah, pretty positive, you see, because mm -hmm. uh, this is a cheap cigar. You guys are acting crazy. And, and you, Alex, uh, I feel disrespected. Whoa, whoa. Are, what, are you calling me cheap? No, I just know what we pay you. No, I wouldn't smoking care. cheap cigars. It, probably your youth group students are cheap, and they whoa, smoke the cigar. Whoa, why, why are we throwing shade at the youth kids now? Let's not be too harsh on anybody. They, they simply might not have known. How do you not know that you stamp out a cigar in the sanctuary? Well, well life's tricky. Well, life's tricky. Yeah, I mean, youth group students. Yeah, youth students. We need to catch this sacrilegious piece of scum and get to the bottom of this. Put an end to it, right? You know, I'm not so convinced that it wasn't you. Nick, after all we've been through, you don't trust me? Why would I ever do something like that? Well, you tell me. Do, do I look stupid to you? Well, uh, 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 um, all right, whatever. I'm done talking about this, guys. It wasn't the right thing to do. I think we can all agree on that. But it's not the end of the world. So if you see somebody else smoking a cigar in the sanctuary, just just have them talk to me. It's a good conversation starter. Right. I gotta go. All right. Yeah. You know what? After they talk to you, I'll yell at them myself. Right. Oh, okay. Right. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. And that was about the same energy that we carried into the rest of the show and the other filming days and uh, eventually it just all led to nothing and it was pretty evident that it was going to turn out pretty terrible so we pulled the plug and cut our losses. I think the biggest thing, or one of the biggest things that I learned from that anyway, was that you need to have your lines down and they need to be memorized or, I mean, please, well known, you know, because inside some of those scenes what you'll see is you'll see like a tablet sitting on top of the table and that tablet was basically our script and we would just look at the lines and you know well uh i was doing this or that oh really start scrolling you know that's how that's how that went so super, super the acting apparent. was stiff terrible carrying the same energy throughout every line because especially, you didn't have a feel for the beats especially you <laughs> yeah, yeah you know well it's, a, it's really a group thing you know it's a, uh, 
But, uh, yeah, I suck. Well, he's not gonna answer you now. Are you sure about that, man? He's driving. Uh, listen, listen, listen. I talk on my phone all the time while I drive. Well, that's not so... That, Nick... Just, you shouldn't be on the phone right now. He's driving. Well, straight to voicemail. Do you think he'll call back? I'll tell you something, Nick. Alex, great guy. But he's a lot like my dad, you see. Just every time I call, no matter how much, he never wants to talk. He never answers. Ever. Okay, well, I'll get back to this then. Great, you do that, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this smoking issue. What? You know how it is, Nick. No! No, I don't know how it is. And you know what? You're the only person I know of in this church who smokes cigars. What are you trying to say? Nothing. You do that. Yeah. You know what? I will. I will. Tell me, don't you have any youth pastor stuff to do? Let me paint you a picture here, Nick. A majority of youth pastors do this volunteer, right? Yeah, they volunteer their own time. So, <clears throat> if you think about it, they do all that on their own time. I get paid. So, technically, I have some time to sit down. Solve this problem. That actually makes a lot of sense. You're welcome. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some lives to save. I love how Matt just like completely botched that last line and we didn't even bother correcting him. A majority of youth pastors do this volunteer, right? Yeah, they volunteer their own time. So if you think about it, they do all that on their own time. I get paid. It makes a lot of sense. We improvised and it sucked. It, we suffered for it. And then lighting. Let's get to lighting. Oh boy. Did we have or any? lack thereof. There is there was a light used in one scene at least, because I noticed while watching that scene you could see the reflection of a light in the door. And that was one of the studio lights that we had used. And so we must have used look, at least if one. If you look at the character of Alex when he's talking, uh, played by DL inside this version, in the back left hand corner you can see a light sitting there inside the shot. <laughs> You know, that's something else to look for. So yeah, as you can see, our first attempt at problems higher up was a failure of epic proportions, never completed and never seeing the light of day. Well, until today. Thankfully, we were smart enough at the time to pull the plug and try again the following year. Our second attempt is the version you can find, and maybe already have, on Amazon Prime, Tubi TV, and more. Thanks very much for watching, and if you enjoyed our second attempt, consider subscribing for more information on Season 2, set to release in January of 2022. God bless, and we look forward to seeing you next time on All That For Nothing.